pound. How is the British system. pound worth anything? They're dopes. They're worth, it's that? worth twice the dollar. Yeah. I, also, yeah. I also had a house breaking. This is a true story. Right? Me and another comic called Steve Hughes were sitting at home. And I kid you not, this is what happened. Uh, two guys came through the window. One with a hammer, one with a machete. If you look at the side of my head... I got like a scar there. Yeah, so yeah. They cut my head, right? They tied us up and all that type of stuff. Then they drove wow. off out of my house and they got caught speeding in my car before we had ever made the, <laughs> the call or whatever, right? <laughs> They're now serving 12 years in prison for grievous bodily harm, aggravated burglary, um, attempted rape, and possession. <laughs> of wait, 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 wait. You, you can't just gloss over that. You can't just have that as part of your list. I forgot list. to mention my girlfriend was in the house. Oh, and they oh, right. oh, oh well, you know, wow. No, I, if I can't say the N-word on radio, I thought I couldn't get away with getting into graphic detail about <laughs> that. listen to us, it's like, oh, it's your girlfriend. All right, that's, uh, yeah, that's no, not oh, interesting. Geez, no, that's not, not interesting. interesting. Why, we uh, thought you got raped. His roommate or something. Yeah, right? yeah. Why, att why attempted? Was he nervous or what happened? No, because they, they, they left before and they held the knife to her throat. and they, the, the cops just want to put it. They also got him for possession of drugs, right? Which was brilliant because they were my drugs. Right? Ah, <laughs> they stole ah, your truck. They, they stole like a little bag of weed and a gram of coke that my flatmate had, right? Uh. And the, the cops are questioning us and they go, uh, Mr. Jeffries, one last thing. Do you know anything about those drugs? Oh, yeah, in the you're going to admit to that in a and second. And I went, No, I don't know anything about them. And the cop goes, Funny, your fingerprints were all over them. <laughs> and I went, They made me touch it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the attempted rape. <laughs> and he, and he, That's probably he how they got caught. They're go. like, What's that, sorry? He, he knew, but he just let it go. Because yeah, 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 the cops were yeah. laughing about it afterwards, right? And they, these two blokes got 12 years, man. That's a long sentence. And the, the thing <laughs> is, when they broke into our house, they thought we were drug dealers, me and me, me the other mate, the other car. They thought we were drug dealers because, well, I have, we, I have the lifestyle of a drug dealer. I just... I never seem to go to work. I drive a <laughs> yeah. nice car. If someone knocks on the door at three in the afternoon, I'll answer in my underwear eating a bowl of cereal. Yeah, that's drug <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, that's drug dealer yeah. behavior, right? Yeah. Or so comedian. The, one of yeah, the other, but yeah. comedian. And they, yeah. they just assume and they came in. And when they were tying me up, I thought they were going to tie everyone else up in the house, right? So I, I acted like they were doing it a bit tight on my wrist so that when everyone else was tied up, I could break free and do some of my ah, ninja moves. Right. right. But that uh, turned out they only tied me up and kept me on stitch. <laughs> 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 you know, the, when they got pulled over, that's probably how they got caught was the drugs because they got pulled over and it's just speeding. It's just, okay, and then we're going to search the car. Oh, there's drugs here. Ah. Those aren't mine. No, Whose no, are no, they? No, they belong to the guy who I just tied up and tried to rape his girl for all. Yeah, they, they, they went for a big high speed check. There's, at one stage during the break, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I can speak about this now, the court case though. Right? One, one stage during the case, right? I'm on the ground tied up and my head's been cut and my other flatmate's laying on the ground and my, my girlfriend's laying under the duvet in the bed. The, the nicer one out of the two blokes, right? Good guy, right? He, he walks over <laughs> to like the chest of drawers and I've got like pictures of my nephews and nieces and he picks up one of the pictures and he goes, either you guys got kids, right? And my best mate, he doesn't have a kid, goes, five-year-old boy... And I thought, I'm laying on the ground bleeding. They're going to kill me now. I'm the one yeah. they're going to kill. <laughs> yeah, because right? he's got kids. No, no, it's my kid. My kid's lying. Yeah, yeah, so I went, four-year-old girl? And then it, we tried to tr uh, trump each other, right? <laughs> and I swear to God. I'm man, pregnant. Yeah, my, my mate goes, my one's retarded. <laughs> No way. I kid you not. I kid you not. <laughs> and the guy's with the machete going, hmm. <laughs> Why did he cut your head? How did yeah. that happen? He, he, uh, what happened was, I've also got a scar on top of my finger. And the, 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 there was one guy who was really sadistic with a machete. It was like a, like a sugar cane cutting one, like a big curved sort of two foot, two inch thing. And they tied me up head to feet. <laughs> and then my mate sort of made a bit of a, a sort of a lunge at him trying to fucking, sorry. Oh, whoa. Try, try, Wait, try, 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 trying to fix my mate made a bit of a lunge at him trying to fix all the problem and all that type of stuff. So the guy said, don't do that again, and sliced the side of my head, Oof. right? And then, and then blood was pumping out of my head just into like a puddle in front of me, and I'm tied up. And you think you'd be really nervous, but under that much pressure, the human brain just leaves. Like, literally, my head was just going, da, 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 right? I was like, nothing had happened at all. My girlfriend's crying under the thing, and then he tied me up with, the power cord from my girlfriend's hair straighteners and then when they cut me free she didn't cry when they said they were going to rape her right when she saw that power cord was cut 
She was upset. She was like, you can only get this brand in America. <laughs> I had to order away for this. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, this story is true. I'm not making this up. So how they said they were, they were going to rape her and they just left? They were doing it more to taunt us why, why they were in the house. I don't think they, really? they ever really were, but the cops just want to slap as much on them. Wow. They should go to the good. 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 So good. You need guns in... Uh... You need guns in your house. Yeah. Dan's a big fan of yeah, the guns. Oh, yeah. The thing, is, the thing is, the first thing on you, I'm sitting in my living room chair, and then the guy comes through the window on the to second story. and No uh, alarm? No. Well, the second story was open. We were in the house. No alarm? Yeah, but you don't have an alarm on while you're walking through your house. Of course do you? you do. Oh, well, I did. No guns? Right. No guns. Everywhere? No, no. So the guy puts up a chair. I was just sitting around in my underwear. He's there with the, he's there with the knife to me throat going, get me your car keys, get me your car keys. And I'm like... Look, man, every morning it takes me a little while to find them. Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> when there's a machete to my throat. This is, it's let, really nice. Let, let me rummage for a moment. Yeah, my grand, my, when my, uh, my grandparents live in Mexico City, the, 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 the dirty country that I'm from, and uh, 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 my grandfather, when he was like 94, he was pretty deaf, pretty much totally deaf, and uh, he had this big backed chair that he sat in that had its back to the front door of their house. And one day, these guys, banditos, banditos. Bro broke into the house with guns. And uh, my grandmother, who was just the toughest woman, she just screamed, Don't move! at the guys with guns. And, like, she said, my husband, she tried to look calm and said, My husband is deaf, and he's 95. If he sees you, he's going to have a heart attack and die. And it's gonna, <laughs> this is going to be murder. Stay where you are. And I'll get you whatever you're asking for. Like, she made the guy stay Just behind made, him. Like, it's trick or treat. Yes, exactly. Wait here at the door. I'll go Wait get you. I'll get whatever you need, but do not let him see you because he'll die. And then you're going to be murderers. And these guys were just confused and they said, okay. <laughs> oh, and so right. they're like, well, let's see some jewelry. So she went up and chose some crap and wow. brought it down to them and stuff. And my uncle was there too. And so she, they said, uh, we need, we want his car. They had guns. They're like, we're going to kill you. Yeah, but stay behind him, please. <laughs> oh, okay, we will. <laughs> And, and they gave him, they, so they got him jewelry, and my uncle, they wanted a car, so my uncle gave him the keys to his car, and they went outside and couldn't start it, so they, he had to come out and help them, he had to jump, <laughs> jump, jump start their car. Oh, God, what, Mexicans. <laughs> oh, <is> that, <laughs> okay. Yes. We, we really have to take another break. Yeah. We're real late. Jim Jeff.